Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings. Uh, today in human capital management, while hiring an employee, uh, some learners, whoever is learning in the initial stage, uh, they may be facing some issues, uh, not only learners, even the professionals also. Like it's a very simple one, not much complex, but little bit to work around. When we are hiring an employee, we'll find generally seeded fields here. And I can see that here social, uh, it's a descriptive flex field, right? Social is a descriptive flux field. Okay. So I can uh, uh, select some value from here because it's mandatory. Because it's mandatory. There is something called social insurance type. This is also mandatory. And uh, when I try to enter some value, it won't allow. And if I try to uh, check the value from the list, uh, sometimes what happened, you don't find uh, any values here. If value is there, then fine. Sometimes you don't find any value. Okay. So what we have to do is that is a problem with uh, that is it. Just now I have added. Okay. So that is a problem with our uh, descriptive flux field value set. Whatever the value set is assigned for this, that we have to verify. Okay. If you select no here, then you are getting. But if I select yes, uh, I don't think so. We are, yeah, we are getting some value. It means uh, this is independent value. And uh, this is dependent value. Okay. If you don't select any value here, okay, then we don't get uh, any 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 value here or something. So in this scenario, uh, this is a descriptive flux field. Uh, first, we have to verify, highlight flux fields. Click on this. Okay. Uh, when you click highlight flux fields, it will show you. Uh, this is a descriptive flux field. Okay. And uh, you can find. Uh, name of the descriptive flux field here. This is, and uh, you can find here configure descriptive flux field. Click on this. Configure descriptive flux field. Click on this. It will open in separate window. So directly you can go to edit and uh, uh, employee rewards point. Uh, it seems that this is a enabled. It's not mandatory. That's fine. Uh, social insurance, uh, someone has added social, that is uh, mandatory. They made it as a mandatory. Better keep it as optional because everybody is practicing. You cannot update predefined data duration application maintenance. Okay, so you, it, you are using that. You are using that. That's the reason it's showing that you cannot update. But it's okay. No problem. We know the, we know the value of this, right? Uh, dependency is there. Either you can go for delete both the segments or if you know the value set of this particular, you know, uh, attribute, then you can go for a view the value set and try to modify the values. And click search button. You have some values. If you select the value, yes, you are getting this. Otherwise, uh, you can go for add some other value. When you select no, And let's go for save and close. And then compile this flux field. A flux field deployment cannot be performed during application maintenance. Okay. So what you have to do is you need to do it later. Uh, let's, uh, it's flux field set update. You are on maintenance, right? That's the problem. Let me just cancel. I choose yes, then I can get values. 
Okay. So I did uh, deployment manually. Now it, you will get it. If you choose no, uh, then we can. This is basically from the value sets independent and uh, dependent. But when we are working with the descriptive flux fields, so uh, it's better keep it as optional fields, not uh, mandatory. Okay. So if we want to make it as optional, uh, what we can do is, uh, let me just edit this. Edit. I remove this required checkbox, save and close. You cannot update predefined data during application maintenance. Okay, so there is some application uses. That's the reason it is showing that you cannot go for it. Later we can do that. Okay, but anyway, I have provided some values. So this way we can go for work on this. Somebody is using on that. That's why it is showing that you cannot perform that activity. Okay, thank you.